Hello everyone and how is it going? This video is going to be giving a short summary of the important points from the latest live stream. So let's get started. So I'm going to be looking at the live stream while I explain everything here. So in the live stream today, uh, we got, first of all, there was two main things in the live stream. First was information about the matching uh, server stress test that's going to be coming up. And other thing was uh, new development news. So let's first look at some information about the matching stress test. This is the information they gave out, and this is also on their site. So the test is going to be on November 7th from uh, 7 to 10 uh, p.m. Japanese time. And they opened up, uh, they're looking for testers, looking for 15,000 testers to participate in the test. And it started uh, yeah, recruiting the testers starting already. So you can do that on the, their site right now. And I guess the interesting thing to note here is it's only a three hour test. So this is a, f a full focus on that matching server and also the chat features, uh, the chat. Let's look at some more information. So. Right here, they have a little explanation about the matching server, how it matches up players' groups. And they want to be looking at that for this test. Yeah, so what we're looking at for here is let me jump ahead a little bit more. There we go. So for the test, what they're going to be doing is uh, all the players are going to be starting at level 25. They'll be uh, free to assign their skills and everything. They'll be given weapons and also uh, Runo and uh, Glory Coins. So you can purchase things and uh, 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 equipment and whatnot. Or I guess it's not really equipment, but just clothing as you choose. And also battle imagines will be given to players as well to use. And there's going to be a schedule here we have for the test, but uh, the server will open at 7 p.m. And then they'll give players 30 minutes to set up, their, uh, create their character and get their class ready. Uh, and then from 7.30 to 7.50, it's going to be the Dragon Valley uh, mission that they want players to uh, match for. And they'll announce these things inside the game as well. So they're going to be saying at the first, oh, we're matching for this now, so everyone match up for that. And then from 8, they have the Pillar of Divinity uh, mission dungeon. And then from 8.30 to 8.50, it's the Colosseum area. And then from 9 to 9.20, it's a raid battle. And then for the last uh, 30 minutes of the test, they want players to use the chat because during the Clevo's beta test, there was a problem with chat being uh, delayed from actual. So like when there was an abundance of chat from all the players, the player's chat would be delayed in appearing. They want to check to see if that's fixed as well. And the version of the test they're going to be using is the same from the closed beta test. So there's not going to be new changes that they have been making for development. This is still the closed beta version just with the uh, chat and matchmaking servers updated. So they want to check those to see if they're fixed. So let's move forward here. Yeah, we checked this area and the next up after the matching is there have a little bonus for testers. I guess it's a little bit farther forward. Right around here. A t-shirt. So 100 players that participated in the test will uh, be given t-shirts. So it's going to be uh, given at random to the players who participated in the content. The players who matched one or more times. So you need to actually participate in the test to have a chance at the t-shirt. 
And this is the t-shirt, uh, new t-shirt, actually, just for this test. So it's different than the ones they've given out so far. Next, let's look at some of the things that are in development. Starting around here, we can take a look at the main things that they're going to be talking about. So there's the character creation, some character creation changes. We have Sarah Muzad Oasis, a new desert city that's been revealed. Talking about a follower or like a companion NPC, Jake, so he'll fight along with you. And then there is some information about character skills. Let's first look at the character creation. That is a little bit farther forward. Here we go. Let me take one step back. Okay. So first what we're seeing here is they added a feature to seeing different times of day because uh, players had difficulty judging their character's appearance just with the set light. When they got into the game, they felt like their uh, uh, maybe skin color or appearance was different than what they thought in character creation, so they added this option. Take a step back here. <laughs> it looks like there's a... Oh yeah, so we have a uh, breast slider <laughs> to increase the size, and also we have a button to check uh, physics of the character, so hair physics and whatnot. <laughs> Next up we can see some changes they made to um, the eye UI, eye color UI. Well, we also have uh, angles and choices here and also uh, options for uh, eyelashes. And this is for uh, the eye color. So the eye color, they simplified it a little bit for um, players just coming in. So you can just choose a color and be done with it. And a couple patterns along with the eye. You can go change the hue or choose different patterns for brightness. So people aren't overwhelmed initially, but there is the advanced option here for choosing more colors. And they went from a two color selection that was in the closed beta test to four different colors that can be chosen. And the reason for this is they got uh, information that recent uh, anime movies and whatnot actually have around four different eye uh, colors for eyes, so they wanted to simulate that. That's one of the things they're uh, striving for for the Blue Protocol is uh, to replicate kind of that um, anime movie kind of feel with inside of a game. So they decided to go with four different colors here that you can choose for eyes. And there's also the odd eye option, so you can have odd eye with <laughs> four different colors, which adds uh, quite a few different options. So we can see as we're getting different angle options here as well and various things are being added to the character creation. So you can change the brightness of the eye eyebrows as well as along with the angle. Some kind of feature about like reversing hair or something like that, so that adds some more options. I'm not sure if we see that here. And this is the the physics test button. Button you can uh, shake the character <laughs> to check uh, <laughs> how the care uh, the hair character's hair and other parts of the body react to <laughs> movement. <laughs> So inside the game as well, uh, character's hair and other parts of the body will shake, so you can test that out within character creation now. 
Let's uh, move forward. <laughs> okay, so next up is the new uh, city that's been revealed. This is uh, Sara Muzad Oasis. Within, like, I believe the Evergreen Desert area, so a, a new area that we did not see in the closed beta. So compared to Aster Leeds, um, the this oasis area here is rather flat, so rather uh, rather level, but it has uh, most of the same features that we saw in Aster Leeds. Aster Leeds is the main uh, city that you start in. So and like the characters in uh, uh, in this area as well also have clothing matching the the climate. So like uh, a little bit of uh, looser clothing and things like that. <laughs> uh, one of the I believe the producer here was saying that uh, looking at this, it, it warms him up because he is. The booth they're recording is very cold, so <laughs> you can feel the heat from the area. But anyways, uh, moving on to the next thing is the follower mechanic here. So you can have a NPC follower or a companion that helps uh, fight along with you. And this we have Jake, who's actually a character that appears in the game, and he's fighting along with the character here. And it's all AI, so um, the character, uh, the player is not uh, controlling him at all. It's all AI. So he's fighting along with the player. And this is something they had mentioned being uh, planned to be added later during the closed beta test feedback. And this, yeah, you can see some new animations that we hadn't seen in game before either. <laughs> yeah, they're saying, Jake, Jake, you're on fire. And another thing, uh, to pay attention to here is during the effects, we can see an outline of the characters, which is uh, something of a problem that was reported during the closed beta test that it was difficult to see characters with all the effects because uh, there's no um, semi transparent effects in the game, everything is opaque. But as we see here, we can see an outline of the character now. So we can see things with inside the the smoke. So it becomes a little bit easier to see what's happening, even with effects on the screen. And next up is uh, some spellcaster changes that we can see. Let's move forward here. Wait for the video to load here. There we go. Okay. So we have the spellcaster here, and we saw that there's a, a blink, and that's not a skill, that's a new dodge for the spellcaster. So when they dodge, they blink now instead of rolling. And there's also a new dodge attack that we can see. So if you attack during the dodge blink, you can see a new attack here. I believe this is it right here. So they're attacking right after the, the blink and they deal damage around them. So that's a new thing that was not in the closed beta. As we can see here as well, they're using two different uh, types of lightning skills. And during the closed beta test, uh, you were limited to one fire, one ice, one lightning skill, and then one buff. 
but they remove that restriction. So you're free to choose uh, combinations of different skills. So you could have two lightning and two buffs or two lightning and two fire skills. So a lot more freedom to choosing uh, what skills you want to pick for your character. Yeah, so he's explaining the, the freedom of choices currently. And I believe uh, another one of the, the main changes here is uh, during closed beta test, there was a There was like a charge mechanic for skills, but we can see he's not charging it up. I believe we'll explain it a little bit more here. Let me listen a moment. Yeah, but yeah, so like during the closed beta test, there was also charging up the, the skills for the spellcaster. But as we can see here, it's they kind of get more powerful with the skill level. So that's another kind of change we're seeing. Of course, things we're seeing here are still in development, so by the, uh, the next time we can see this actually in a test, it may change, but it looks like that maybe they removed the charge mechanic, or they're still thinking of how they want to rework that. And one thing to note here is the new changes we're seeing and development here are not going to be in the new uh, matching server test. That's still on the closed beta version. So that, that will be on the closed beta version with just the matching server and chat server being updated. So we can see an increased number of... <laughs> Yeah, so he's saying during the closed beta test, the number of um, lightning bolts that came out was dependent on the charge, but this is now um, based on, I believe, skill level. Yeah, skill level. So they're still, still uh, adjusting things, so we might still see some changes, but that's how it is in their current build they have here. <laughs> so he's saying he's been test playing and it's a lot of fun to play with these uh new new skills but the the new class has just been so much fun and as we can see after this um these two were not expecting him to talk about a new class yet <laughs> yeah so they were not planning for uh, the information of a new class to be revealed here but at the end of the video, we actually get a little bit more information about that. So let me jump ahead. So they, uh, what he said just here is when with the game's release, there's going to be one more class uh, added to the game compared to the closed beta test. So in the closed beta test, we had four different classes, but with the game's release, there will be one more class per, uh, ready for that. So that's uh, a class we do not know about yet. It'll be interesting to see what that will be. Anyways, that is the summary of the live stream. I think I covered most of the main points here. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again.